What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Auto Lock One Touch Up and Down module onto my 2020 Tundra Platinum here. If you're not familiar with what this module does, it gives you the capability to add the Auto One Touch Up and Down feature on your windows. Chances are you probably have it on your driver side door. I actually have it on my driver side door and my passenger side door in the front. Both my front windows have this feature, but I know some of the trims only offer it on the driver side door. So basically, this add, this allows you to add that capability to each and every one of your windows, including the if you have a crew max, the back window that goes all the way down, you can also add this module onto that window, which we're gonna do and I'll show you how to do. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with it, it's part number WC1000 or part number WC2000, depending on if you get a one pack or a two pack, it's the exact same module, just again, one pack or two pack. So that's what the box look like, looks like. I will put the link down below in the video information section if you wanted to check this out and you're not familiar with it. This is what the module looks like. This is basically all you're gonna get in the box, the module. It comes with a little bit of an instruction manual, but I gotta be honest, the instructions with this module, uh, plain and simple, they suck. <laughs> so that's why we're making this video to show you guys how to do this. And then here's the wiring harness that it comes with. As you can see, it comes with um, eight different color wires and I'll show you where each one of those wires go in the truck We're actually only gonna be using six of the eight wires for this install. So we'll show you what we do there All right, so let's start with the front passenger side door again I don't have to add this module onto mine, but I will show you what wires you'll have to tap into What wires will go from the harness into your truck and where you have to tap into just in case you don't have it on the um, front passenger side of your truck, so let me get into, into the, the door there. I'll show you what you have to do and then we'll make our way around the back. All right guys, so let's start up here with the front passenger side door. I will not be adding a module onto this door. I already have the auto up down feature on my 2020 Platinum, but I know some of the lower trims don't include this on the front passenger. So let me show you how to do it in case you want to. All right, so all you're gonna need to do, you can remove the entire door panel if you want to. You don't necessarily have to, but it will give you more room to work. I am not going to do that for this instruction video. You can easily do it the way I'm gonna show you, but if you wanted more room to work you can remove the entire panel and if you're not sure how to remove the entire door panel I do have a video on the channel showing how to do that it's my video and I'll put a link up above you it's my video where I painted the trim right here I took the whole panel off to do that I'll put a link up above you for that video if you wanted to take the entire thing off all you really have to do is this panel right here where the switch sits you're just gonna pop that I already have it loose just to save some time but it, it's only held in by pop clips so you just get your fingers up pop it up and you can pop it off just like that. So here is the wiring harness that we're gonna be dealing with. You can just unplug it. It's the window wiring harness, you can't miss it. It's right on the back of the window switch. And as you can see, I'll take a picture and put it up on the screen in case you can't really see it well in the video, but it has five wires on it. There's two white wires, which are grounding wires. Well, there's a, there's a plain white and a white with the black stripe. Those are both ground wires. The other three wires that we're gonna be dealing with are right here. It's a green, a pink, and a black. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut those three wires, the black, pink, and green, and then let me show you how to connect the, the auto lock harness to those wires. So on this particular truck, on this wiring harness, the black wire on the truck right here, that's your constant ground. I'm sorry, not your con that's your constant 12 volts your constant power basically. So what you're gonna do is on the wiring harness from the auto lock, you're gonna take the red wire from the auto lock harness. It has a 15 amp fuse in it right here in this black holder. You're gonna take this red wire from the auto lock and connect it to the black one from the truck. However you wanna make that connection, whether you wanna do, I like to do weatherproof butt connectors as you're gonna see on the rear door. That's just what I use to make all my wiring connections on all my projects, but however you wanna do it. You can use T-taps, connect, butt connectors, solder, however you wanna do it, that's up to you. But you're just gonna take the red wire from the auto lock into the black wire on the truck. That is your constant power, your constant 12 volts. What I'll do for you guys too also, just so you know, I will write all of this down on a sheet of paper and post it on your screen. So if you wanted to pause the video while you're making these connections, just to make sure you do them correctly, I will do that for you as well. I'll write it all down on paper, put a picture up on your screen and you can pause it if you want. All right, so that's the red wire on the auto lock harness. The next wire on the auto lock harness is the black wire. 
this is your ground now there's screws and again i'll take a picture and put up on your screen but there's a couple bolts down in here that you, you probably can't see right now because of the angle of the camera but there's a couple bolts on the door that you can get to where you can ground this harness so all you would do all i did was i just put a ring terminal on the black wire from the auto lock harness put a ring terminal on it took the bolt off that's inside the door here and just put the ring terminal on the bolt and put the bolt back in that's a good grounding point works perfect all right so that takes care of your first two wires on the auto lock the red the power wire which is the red and then the black which is your ground all right so now let's get into the other two wires the pink and the green the pink wire on the truck that's your up wire that's the wire that controls the the window coming up so what you want to do the two wires from the auto lock harness once you cut that pink wire, again, your up wire, you're gonna be taking the two wires from the auto lock that are green and brown right here. So you're gonna cut that pink wire on the truck. You're gonna take the brown wire from your auto lock, connect it to the switch side. Let me straighten this out so it makes a little more sense. So let's pretend I cut that pink wire in half and you have the switch side of the wire and the and the door side of the wire the truck side you're going to take the brown wire from your auto lock connect it to the switch side of the pink the green wire from the auto lock is going to go to the other side of the pink the side the side that's going into the door all right so that's where you would connect the brown and the green from your auto lock the green wire on the door is your down wire so you're going to take your white and your blue wires from your auto lock and that's what you're gonna connect into the green wire on the truck. So you're gonna cut that green wire, you're gonna have the switch side of the wire and the truck side of the wire, you're gonna take the white from the auto lock, connect it to the switch side, the blue from the auto lock is gonna to go to the door side of that green wire. All right, so those are the six wires that you need to connect on the passenger side front door. The other two wires on this auto lock harness are gray and white with the blue stripe we are not going to be using those what they're for is you can also tap this into your keyless entry trigger points to be able to roll your windows up or down with your key fob i'm not doing that it's to me it's just really not needed i, I can't imagine too many times where i would want to roll my windows up or down with my key fob i'm not worried about that feature so if if you wanted to look into that more again you would just take these two wires the instructions tell you where to tap them into you would just tap them into the keyless entry trigger points i'm not going to be doing that part i'm only doing the window part all right so that's where you would connect the six other wires um, and again i will write this down on paper put it up on your screen so that's how you would do the front passenger side door on this 2020 platinum now one thing i will say if your wires are different colors i'm not sure if i would think the tundra um i would think the wires are the same colors across the board for especially for this year truck but if they are not I will show you how to test your wires. All you're gonna do is take your multimeter, put it on, on the DC, and what you can do is take your two points from your multimeter, you can use that screw for your grounding point, so take your black needle from your multimeter, put it down on that screw, take your red, your positive, from your multimeter, and touch the wires until you see what is a constant 12 volt. When I did that, when I had the truck on, um, the 12 volt, that's how I found out that the black is the constant 12 volt. How I found out the pink and the green were up and down. So what I did was I turned the truck on, put this, the black one on the grounding point. I took my red point and I put it in the pink wire, like down in there like that. And when I hit the switch up, that, that you'll get a 12 volt reading on your multimeter. If you go down, you'll get it, it'll actually, the meter will jump down 12 points. So that's how I know that the pink is the up wire. And then same thing for the green. I put the red in the green, I put the red needle point in the green wire, touch this to the ground. And when I hit the down on the window button, 
that's I got my 12 volts. So that's how you can judge and tell what wires what. If your wires are different colors, that's how you can check it to see. All right, so I won't go into much more detail on that. That's pretty easy, self-explanatory, using the multimeter to test your wiring. All right, so that is the, the front passenger side. Let's go back and I'll show you the rear doors and then we'll do the rear window. Okay, so here we are at the rear passenger side door. The rear doors are gonna be the same on the driver and passenger side. So I'm only gonna show you this rear door. The wiring harnesses are the exact same thing on each side. So when you, again, all you have to do is pop this panel off, get at the back of the switch panel right here, and you can just, you can disconnect the, the um, panel right there. And that leaves you with the wiring harness. Now, as you can see, and again, I'll throw a picture up on your screen here, um, but these wires back here are much bigger in diameter. They're easier to work with, to be honest, because they are bigger. So let me show you, you have a green, two tannish brown ones, a yellow in the middle, and a red. So let me show you what you have to tap into there. You can also do the same procedure back here with that multimeter. If you wanted to plug your window, switch back in and test the wires just to be sure. But I already did that part for you, so let me just show you where, what you do here. So this one's already installed. I have it, and w once you make all these connections with the wires, all you do, once these are all connected to your truck, all you do is obviously just connect your module to your wiring harness. And then what I did was, again, I'll put a picture up on your screen, but I just put a piece of double-sided Gorilla Tape on the back, and I just tucked it down in there and stuck it to the inside of the door. All right, so you again, that's you can mount that however you want. That's how I did it. So on the wiring harness on the two rear doors, what you're gonna do, the yellow wire in the middle is your constant power, your constant 12 volts. So the red wire from the auto lock harness is gonna get tapped into that yellow wire on this switch harness on the truck. The up wires on the auto lock, which are the brown and the green, are gonna go into the red wire. So you're gonna you're gonna cut the red wire on the truck. That's your up wire. You're gonna take the brown and the green from the auto lock. The brown is gonna go to the truck, I'm sorry, the switch side of the, the red truck wire. And the green is gonna go to the, the door side of the red wire. All right. Then let's go to your down wires, which are your, your blue and your white on the auto lock. So your blue and white on the auto lock, on this harness, the green wire is the, is the down wire. So you're gonna take the blue and white from the auto lock. The white is gonna go to the switch side of the green wire. The blue is gonna go to the door side of the green wire. All right. And then again, the black is just a ground. You can do the same thing, put a ring terminal on it, attach it to the screw. All four doors have the screw um, that you'll be able to see um, that I, I put the picture up on the screen there so you can take a look at it. So I just put a ring terminal on the black wire from the auto lock, put it on that bolt, and that takes care of the ground. Same thing with the other doors. We're not gonna be using those gray and the white with the blue stripe there for that um, the other option that I mentioned so very simple that's what you do that's how you connect into these and again just like the front door I will write these on um, the connections on a piece of paper and put it on your screen so you can pause while you're doing the connections but that's really all there is to it guys you make those connections all right, so to access the wiring for the rear sliding window you can actually access the wiring underneath this panel right here the only problem with right here is you have nowhere to mount the auto lock module so what i did was you have to pop this panel up and out of the way only held on by clips and this wire don't pay attention to this black and red wire because that's actually my wiring that i'm going to explain but inside the wiring loom right here if you go inside there there's a bundle there's a bundle of wires the bigger green and the bigger red wire in this bundle are the rear window wiring. But again, if you tap into them right here, you have nowhere to mount the actual module. So what I did was, and it's very simple, all you have to do down here at the bottom of the seatbelt, there's a little cover. You just pop that cover off. There's a 14 millimeter bolt right here holding the seatbelt in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off.
bolt looks like that. So you can just set this out of the way. I'm just gonna hook it on there for right now. Then the next thing you wanna do is this side of the rear seat is only held on by four bolts. One here, 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 and here. You can't miss them. Those are 17 millimeter bolts. So go ahead and remove those. Now, once you have those four 17 millimeter bolts removed, all you can do, you can just kind of tip your seat forward like that. And then let me reposition the camera a little bit better just so I wanna make sure that's not in the way. Before I do that, once you have this tipped forward, your next step is the weather stripping right here that runs down your door. You're just gonna peel that up and it goes right back on, so don't worry about it. You're just gonna peel it up because we're gonna be removing this inside panel right here. So you just wanna remove that weather stripping, giving you access at this entire panel. All right, so let me pop that out of there. Again, it's only held on by clips. So you just pop it out. So you can then just remove this entire panel, set that aside. And then let me reposition the camera here and um, I'll show you where we access the wiring and where I mounted the module. All right, so I decided just to hold the camera so I can give you guys a good look at what we're doing here. So again, here's the weather stripping. We pulled off the door. We removed this panel here that would be blocking this area. And I mounted the auto lock module right here. Again, just by double backing Gorilla Tape, stuck it to the inside of the truck. That panel, once we put the panel back on, covers it up nicely, you'll never know it's there. So to tap in to the rear sliding window on the Crew Max, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna see this black wire loom that shoots across the back wall of the truck. It's the only one there, so you can't mess it up. Once you look inside that wire loom, you're gonna see a red and a green wire. They're the only two wires that are gonna be in this skinny loom right here. So all you're gonna do is cut the red and the green wire, and you're gonna do the same exact thing that we did on the rear doors. So the auto lock brown wire is gonna go to the truck. Let me get this untangled here so I don't make it, so I try not to confuse anybody. So the auto lock brown right, right here goes to the truck red that you cut that's the side that's going to go all the way up into the switch in the front of the truck the auto lock green wire is going to go to this side of the red on the truck that goes to the window the auto lock white wire is going to go to the truck green wire that goes up to the switch the auto lock blue is going to go to the truck green that goes to the rear window. And then for the red and the black wires coming off the auto lock module for this window, I could not find a 12 volt power source back here. If you know where one is or you, you can find one, by all means, you can tap your red wire from the auto lock into it. I couldn't find one, so what I did was, I don't mind running wiring. So the red and the black wire that you see that runs down here that's what that is. So all I did was I connected my red wire from the auto lock that has that 15 amp fuse in it. I ran this all the way up to the positive side of my battery underneath the hood. And then I took the black, the ground wire from the auto lock module and ran that to the negative side of my battery. All right, so that's where you're gonna connect the six wires from the auto lock module back here. Same thing with that gray and blue. All I did with the gray and the blue from the auto lock module, I did this on every one of them. I don't know if I showed you this on the other ones. I don't think I did, but this is all I did with the gray and the blue. I'm sorry, the, the gray and the white with the blue stripe. I just put wire nuts on them and electrical taped them. That way they're there if I ever do decide to add that other option that I mentioned, which I don't think I will, but I didn't want to just cut them off and um, you know, just in case I ever want to add that, that capability. All right, so again, that's how we mount it and that's where we connect into the rear window on the Crew Max to give it the capability of auto up and auto down. All right, so that's how we connect the auto lock, one touch auto up and down module to the rest of the truck on the windows that do not have that capability already. So hopefully I made that as least confusing as possible. I know when there's wires going everywhere, it gets a little crazy, but let me just show you guys real quick. So if you wanna watch my rear passenger side window, I'm just gonna push it once. Window's gonna go all the way down. 
press it up window's going to come all the way up you don't have to hold it anymore and then same thing with the again my two front windows already had it but same thing on the driver side rear works and then if you want to watch the rear window i relocated my rear window switch um in case you're new to the channel and you've never seen it before i'll put a picture up on your screen just to show you what i mean but i put my rear window switch right here by the shifter so one touch you can see it behind me windows going down one touch up you can see it coming back up, all right? So very cool little feature. I know this this capability isn't gonna matter to everybody, um, but the instructions that came with this module, I'm not gonna lie to you, they suck. <laughs> so I figured I'd throw this video together. I've been doing wiring for years. I could wire in my sleep. So um, I just wanted to throw this together and uh, put it out there for anybody who wants to add this capability and they're a little unsure about the install. It is very simple. You know, just take your time, follow my instructions. Hopefully the, the um, the the pictures that i put up on your screen help you of what wire from the auto lock goes where to, to what wire on the truck i hope that helped you a lot hel helped you out a lot um if you guys do go to do this install and you get stuck if you're in a jam shoot me a message comment on this video and i'll be happy to help you out so we'll get it figured out for you but pretty straightforward install not that bad at all all right so as always appreciate you guys watching feel free to like share subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video take care